Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about 7.45 on this Sunday, December 18th, 2011. A week away from Christmas. Hard to believe. But, as you can see on top of this video, on the title here, I'm here to do a little bit of a comparison. You know, recently, many of you that may be fans of Zero and Isaac, you might know that he has a new channel called Zero, Ni Zero and Isaac Responds. Um, and uh, one, one of the respond videos he did was my questions that I sent to him. And in the first part of the two-part video, which it was, um, I basically asked him about the whole set, what his thoughts were on the whole Sally situation in the comic books. And he gave a great example, and in fact, I briefly mentioned this, this a couple of times. And he said, basically, that this is obviously seems to be the Archie Comics, Ian Flynn answer to the Phoenix, if not the Dark Phoenix saga. Now, apparently, with the description and the preview cover of two... 35, if you will, recently released, and Sonic Universe issue, I believe, 37 or 38 released. It kind of makes people wonder exactly what's going to go on. You see, a lot of us pretty much figured that Silver was going to be playing an integral part um, in the upcoming story arc. Well... The thing is, we don't know how big of a part he's going to play. Because according to the description, according to the title of the description, it's called Remember the Fallen. And one of the final things it says, and, one, and some of the key words that it says is, something's going to happen that's going to change the team forever. And it's basically asking, you know, will Silver be able to do something before the weary Sonic interrupts him or vice versa or something like that. Again, I got to look at it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it. Now, a lot of us have gone on record and have said, if not agreed upon the fact that eventually Sally is going to be restored. We just don't know when and where. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, Zara Nizarak said that this seemed to be the equivalent of the Phoenix slash Phoenix Dark Phoenix saga of the Dark of the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book. Which is true because it's more so in the fact of the Dark Phoenix basically. But anyway But anyway, um a lot of people want to know well not a lot of people but, you know, let, let's take, let's kind of do a comparison between the Dark Phoenix saga and this. And any other situation, as I've mentioned before in the past. One of the things that really gets at longtime fans, if not newer fans, that support and are behind all the characters, including the characters that are the victims, is the fact that the characters have to fight each other. We have seen this on numerous, numerous occasions, not just in the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book, but we've seen this on numerous occasions in the, in the Dark Phoenix saga, most importantly, as well as some other media outlets as well. But the comparison with the Dark Phoenix saga and this current story arc in Sonic is the fact that in the Dark Phoenix saga, despite, despite what version you read or what media version you read basically or watch basically the the x-men had to fight gene and gene uh, as the dark phoenix ended up doing things that she had no control over she tried to have a control over but she didn't and it wasn't until the end to where eventually you know she was able to gain control again despite what version you watch or read you know that's the result. Now, some people I know will probably disagree and say that's it's no way comparable to the 
to the Dark Phoenix saga. It's not, it's not like that. That might be true, my friend, but let's take a look at certain things. The editor-in-chief, Paul K., or P.K., or Paul Kaminsky, if you will, said that Sally had what was known as a Jean Grey syndrome. Now, not, not many people like hearing that. Not many people like hearing that. They don't, they don't like hearing a character having a syndrome or the similar characteristics of another character. They don't like to hear that. So, but when you take a look at what's going on, it's kind of almost ironic of the similarities. I mean, here you have Sally basically doing what Eggman's telling her to do, having herself get involved in the, uh, in the upcoming story arc for Sonic Universe by, the, by looking at the cover of 2 of uh, 38, I believe, and seeing that now she has some kind of like ability to produce a force field or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but you see she has that ability. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Where's the comparisons? Where's the similarities? Well, the comparison and similarity is like this. Jean, as the Dark Phoenix, was f had to be fought against by her friends, the X-Men. The same with Sally right now, the similarity in comparison, Sally has to fight her friends whether she wants to or not because she's in a robotic state and they have to fight her whether they want to or not. Now, here's the thing. When, as I mentioned before, when Jean was possessed by the Dark Phoenix, she did things she did things that she regretted. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at some of the, like I said, uh, despite, uh, depending on what media outlet you look at, you take a look at, you know, after she temporarily gains control, you either read or if you watch the 90s adaption or whatever on Fox, you hear or even read her telling Scott and some of her teammates that she did things so ghastly, so disturbing, but yet she reveled in it. She enjoyed it. Now, where's the comparison and similarity to here? Well, the comparison, well, the similarity is Sally's doing things that as soon as she probably does get de-roboticized or gets her free wheel back, and she's going to look back at and realize she had done things very disturbingly. Done things she wouldn't really do. Now, comparing that to Jean Grey, the only difference is I doubt Sally would be saying to Sonic and her friends that she reveled in it. That she enjoyed it. I doubt she, she'd say that. Or Ian would have her say that. Now, again, another similarity when it comes to the two was the fact that throughout the entire arc, again, like I said, she had to, they had to fight each other. But as you got to the climax, you had basically, I guess you could say an outside force in the Shi'ar, basically take her out. Now, depending, again, like I said, on what reconned version you read, or what version you read or watch, she either survived it, or she didn't. Now, how do you compare that to the Sally situation right now? Well, we have Silver now entering the picture. And I hear some people are getting a little tired of Silver showing up now and then. I mean, more often now, but again, you have an outside force in silver entering the picture to possibly put an end to this whole situation because he's trying to find a traitor. Now, there's the similarities. 
How do you compare it? Well, I would seriously doubt Ian Flynn would go as far as to have Silver blow Sally up or destroy her. Because, you know, she's a very, very popular character and, you know, fans like her. Despite how they feel about her, they, they've they gotten so used to her being in the comics. They, they you know, they, they want to keep her around despite how they may feel and think. But the truth is, there's the similarity, there's the compar- the simil- but the truth is, the comparison, though, and difference is the fact is yet to be known. I mean, we know what happened to Jean Grey Dark Phoenix, like I said, depending on what media version you read or watch. So, but yet, we don't know the outcome of Sally. We don't know what's going to happen to her. Now, understandably, a lot of people have said that Ian Flynn and Paul Kay and anybody else involved have have come out and said that the comic could survive without her. Now, I'm not saying that it can't survive without her because it's been proven that even when she was around, it can survive without her being around, being in the issue, being in every issue, if you will. I mean, take a look at the uh, world tour deal that went from, I think, 52 all the way up to 72, all the main stories, not 72, but 71, all the main stories, if you will, well, maybe not 71, 70, or whatever, all the, basically, from, no, basically from 60, from 52, I believe, to about 68, 68 or 69, all the main stories focused around Sonic and Tails going around the world looking for, for Nagus. And if you had any backstories, that any of the back, and if you had any backstories, those were the only times you probably saw Sally was in the backstories. So main story wise, from about fifty two onward, if you will, from fifty two to about sixty eight or something, from basically about sixteen to fifteen issues in the main stories, if you will, main story wise, she was not involved. Backstory issue, backstory wise, you know, yeah, maybe, but main story wise, no. And then you take a look, and then you take a look at the uh, issues that came after the uh, after one twenty five. You take a look at most of the issues, ex- with the exception of it, with the exception. I mean, you take a look at most of the issues, and they all dealt with Sonic trying to get back, and not once did you have Sally, except, except, because I know people point this out, except when Eve tried to deceive him, tried to deceive Sonic with a doppelganger, kind of imposter version of Sally. But that was it. All the other time, it was just mainly Sonic trying to get back home. See what I'm saying? Yes, I do. So yes, I do acknowledge the fact that it could do fine without her, but the thing is, she has been such a main part of the comic, the continuity, and the franchise for nearly 20 years, for almost 20 years, that it's going to be hard for fans to want to see her go. It's going to be hard for fans to see her possibly get blown up, if you will. So, again, the, the big difference in comparison, the big comparison difference is yet unknown we don't know what's going to happen i mean i've gone on record and have said that i feel it's just my opinion and i'm probably wrong i'm probably wrong but i feel silver is going to play an integral part along with nicole along with amy and along with sonic in getting sally restored back to not just mentally herself again but eventually physically back to herself and i wouldn't be surprised if time travel has something to do with it so that's all I'm going to say in this comparison in this video where I compare the Dark Phoenix saga of X-Men to the current story arc of uh, to the Mecha Sally arc of Sonic. So uh, comment down below if you like and I'll talk to you later.